welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome welcome my name is Lizelle and for today's video we are going to be talking all about races now i know that a lot of you guys are subscribed to me purely for the fact that i do have braces if you're new here and you didn't know i have had these braces on for about 18 months at this point so i have to say i am pretty well educated enough to give you guys advice when it comes to braces what i want to talk about today is just things i wish i knew before I got my braces on. Things I wish I knew or things that you need to know before you get your braces on. If you guys do find this video helpful or you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and don't forget to click the bell as well so you don't miss any more videos that I post. I actually have these all written down on my phone because I really sat down and thought about like, okay, what are the things I wish I knew before I got my braces on? So I have have 30, 30, 30, 32. 32 things? Damn, okay. I got a lot to say. First thing you need to know, and this is different for everybody, you may have to get some teeth pulled out. I actually did not have enough room in my mouth for all of my teeth. So that is why I experienced a lot of crowding. And this is different for everybody because it was possible for me to keep all my teeth, but my orthodontist did suggest that I just pull them out so that we could make enough space in my mouth for the teeth that I have. So I got four teeth pulled out, two on the bottom, two on top, and I'm not gonna lie, it probably will hurt for me personally. I have a really high pain threshold, like I can tolerate pain quite well, but there are options like they can put you to sleep while they do the operation of taking your teeth out. Me, I was awake the whole time. Now in saying that, I got my four teeth pulled out, but what I didn't realize is that I was going to have gaps in my mouth for pretty much my entire braces journey. For some reason, I had this idea in my head that I was only going to have the gaps until I got my braces on. And it's so funny because when I watch back the vlog from the day when I got my braces on, prior to that, I was saying like, yeah, I'm gonna have gaps in my teeth for a couple of weeks. No, I had gaps in my teeth. I still have gaps in my teeth. If I can show you guys, like, I have a gap here and here. I'm 18 months into my treatment, so they have closed a lot, but I did have some pretty big gaps for the first year or so. I'm just happy that my gaps are in a spot where they're not so visible, like you can't really see them as I'm talking, as I'm smiling, so that is like the only thing I'm grateful for when it comes to them. Next one is pretty obvious, but it is going to take you a couple of weeks to get used to your braces. I honestly thought that I would never get used to them because when I first put them on, I was like, whoa, this feels big in my mouth. <laughs> it's hard to describe the feeling, but when I got my braces on, I felt like my lips wanted to go underneath the braces, underneath the brackets, so I was forever like, like trying to get my lips to go over them. I feel like I still do that. Sometimes when I watch back footage of myself, I constantly do this. It's a habit. You might sound different when you get them put on. This is different for everybody. I feel like when I got them put on, I did have like a, a slight lisp because I felt like my mouth, even still, I feel like my mouth produces too much saliva. So I'm like constantly trying to like, <laughs> It sounds weird, but I'm constantly having to like clear my mouth of saliva, so it sounds like I'm talking differently. But at first when I got them put on, I just sounded like I had a whole mouthful of stuff and I could not get used to it. This is pretty obvious, but you have to be prepared to have a lot of food stuck in between your braces. And this still happens to me, like it's something that I will never get used to is just having food stuck in between my braces all the time. It's so annoying and I feel like I'm constantly feeling around through all the gaps with my tongue, like trying to make sure that I get everything out. And in saying that, because you know that you're going to have a lot of food stuck in between your braces, regardless of what you eat, you kind of learn to eat differently. And what I mean by that is when I eat, I always have to chew at the very back of my mouth. If I'm home and I know I'm not gonna be going anywhere, I can just eat freely how I want to. But if I'm out in public, I have to eat at the very back of my mouth to avoid having food stuck 
all up in the front of my braces. So I kind of became accustomed to teaching myself how to eat differently. And I definitely eat and chew all of my food at the very back of my mouth. It just, it just kind of happens. And in saying that you are constantly going to have to think about what you can and can't eat. Your orthodontist will give you a list of foods that you should avoid while you have your braces on. For example, you can't really have popcorn, you can't have any hard candy like caramel. But I mean in the sense of if I'm out and I want to eat a burger, I have to think about is this going to be worth having to deal with getting it out of my teeth afterwards. Which brings me to my next point, that eating things in small bites is going to be so much easier. I noticed for myself, even if I have like a McDonald's burger, I will tear it up, as weird as this sounds. It just makes it so much easier to eat, because like I did say earlier, I do prefer to eat things at the back of my mouth to avoid having food stuck all up in the front of my teeth. So that's my tip if you want to avoid having pieces of your meal stuck in the front of your mouth is to really cut your food up into tiny little bite sizes so that you can eat it at the back of your mouth and avoid having it stuck all up in here. If you like wearing lipstick, lip gloss, any kind of lip product with color in it, be prepared because you are going to get it stuck on your braces. You guys know that I love my makeup, so I obviously do wear a lot of lipstick on the daily. And I find that I've developed a habit of like running my tongue over the top front teeth just to make sure that I don't have any lipstick stuck on there. You can also do the little finger trick, which gets off the little bit of excess lip product that may be like on the inside of your lips. But yeah, that's my habit is that I run my tongue over my teeth at least 50 times a day. Now this is something I get asked all the time and yes, getting your braces tightened and getting adjustments, it does hurt, but it's different for everybody. Like I've always said about myself, I do have a pretty high tolerance to pain. So for me, getting adjustments was no big issue, but I know for some people they do really suffer through them. So be prepared that it is going to hurt. My recommendation would be to take some type of painkiller to kind of ease through that pain while you are going through the first few days after your adjustments. But like I said, it is completely different for everybody. In terms of pain for me, I think the most painful thing that I've had to deal with so far in this treatment is the fact that your mouth will get cut up, especially when you get them first put on. Oh my goodness, the pain that I went through the cuts that I had all up in my mouth, it was a lot to deal with. Actually, that would be my number one tip is be prepared for your mouth to be cut up because it is going to hurt. Like picture a wound and then you're still cutting into that wound. That's what it feels like. So yes, you are gonna have all these cuts on the insides of your cheeks and it's going to hurt. But if you let them heal by applying wax, then your mouth will toughen up. I feel like the inside of my mouth must be so scarred by now because the first few months with these braces was that was the most painful thing for me is the cuts inside my mouth forget about the adjustments the cuts were the most painful part but yes you kind of learn to adjust and your mouth does get used to it so i did mention wax and let me say that wax if you are going to suffer through the cuts is going to be your best friend. I went through so many little packets of that wax. Let me tell you, if you have the chance, definitely anytime you go to an adjustment, whatever, even when you first get them put on, ask your orthodontist, do you have any wax? Because you're going to need it. I don't care what you say, you're gonna need it. If you aren't aware, wax is like this little moldable material that you can kind of put over the brackets, which kind of smooths them over so that it prevents the bracket from continuously cutting into the wounds that it's already created on the inside of your mouth. So definitely ask your orthodontist for some, or you can find some like at the chemist, drugstore, wherever. Just get some wax like you're gonna need it. I get a lot of people messaging me telling me that they're scared to get their braces or they're embarrassed because they don't want people to tease them, bully them, judge them. But let me tell you, nobody cares. And if someone is nasty enough to tease you about it, then there's definitely something wrong with them because honestly, it's not a big deal. If anything, I feel like people are more judgmental towards people who have crooked teeth. Trust me, I would know because I've gone through my years of teasing and bullying for having a crooked smile, but I've never had somebody tell me like, oh, you have braces. In saying that though, be prepared for questions when you first get your braces on. I found that people would ask me like, oh, you got braces, how long do you have to wear them for? What do they feel like? And it's not to say that they're judging you. People are just genuinely curious and like to ask questions. So don't be offended or embarrassed by it. They just want 
to know. I'm pretty sure other people have experienced this as well, but when you get your braces on, you might find that you change the way you smile. So before I got my braces on, I was always the type of girl to smile with my teeth. I guess you could say I came to embrace it and I didn't care that I had a crooked smile. I would always smile with my teeth. But I don't know why, ever since I got my braces on, I found that I smile more just like with my mouth closed. <laughs> and it's not that I'm embarrassed of my braces because honestly, I love them, but just naturally, I prefer to smile with my mouth closed now that I have my braces on. I'm sure that it'll go back to normal once I get them off. I have to say that flossing is going to be a nightmare. Like it's gonna be so difficult, but it's a must. So if you are able to, I would recommend that you invest in a water flosser or a water pick. That is what I use to floss my teeth with every night. I feel like it is a must to make sure that you get every single little bit of food, whatever is left in your mouth out. You can also get those little tiny um, toothpick flosses with the like little bristled ends on them. Or you can of course go the traditional route and use normal string floss, but let me tell you, that's gonna be so difficult. So I definitely recommend if you are able to invest in a water flosser, definitely do that. I mean, typically braces are something that you're gonna have on for over a year. For me, I have to have mine on for two years. I know some people have them for like three, four, sometimes even five years. So I feel like a water flosser, if you're going to invest in something, that is what you're going to want to get for yourself. I feel like this is something people take for granted, but it kind of ties into what I was saying about flossing your teeth regularly. If you take care of your teeth, you can get your braces off sooner. People often forget that having healthy gums does help to make the process of moving your teeth a lot easier. It helps the braces do their thing a lot easier. So if you're constantly flossing your teeth, brushing your teeth, just keeping good oral hygiene and good gum health, then that is really going to assist in you getting your braces off sooner. So anytime you feel hesitant or you're too lazy to brush your teeth or you're feeling too lazy to floss them, think about that because that's honestly like my motivation for myself. I'm like, okay, I've got to make sure that my mouth stays healthy so that I can get these off sooner. When it comes to the little colored bands, elastics, whatever you call them, I'm not 100% sure of the name, but when it comes to those and picking colors for your braces, my only advice is that clear bands, they're going to stain. Now I know some people go with the clear bracket route. As you can see, I do have metal braces. Top and bottom, I have metal. I've gotten people asking me what color I get, whether it's clear or silver. And yes, it is silver because I know that the clear bands will stain. Typically when you eat, drink, that kind of thing, they're going to stain, it's inevitable. And they kind of go like this yellow color, which if you have braces already, you just want to avoid making your teeth look any discolored than they may already look. So that's something to keep in mind is that clear bands, they will stain. That's also a reason why I decided to go with metal braces. I get a lot of people asking me like, why didn't you get clear? The reason why is because I didn't want to have clear and then have them stain. So I just figured if I'm gonna get braces, I'm going to rock the metal look. And yeah, that's that's what I decided to do. Tying into that, your teeth are not going to look as white. Now for me personally, I did whiten my teeth prior to getting braces. It's just something I always did. Because I did have a crooked smile, having white teeth kind of distracted from that. So I was thankful enough to have white teeth prior to getting my braces on. Now you aren't going to be able to traditionally whiten your teeth while you have your braces on, obviously. But what I do is I use a charcoal whitener to kind of maintain the whiteness of my teeth. I often get people complimenting me saying like, wow, your teeth are really white even though you have braces on. And I think it's because of that. Now this is something I had no idea was going to happen. And when it started happening to me, I was like, is there something wrong? Like, is, do I need to tell somebody about this? But your teeth are going to click. And it's the weirdest thing. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but I have the habit of clenching on my teeth. Not so much now because I'm used to them. But when I noticed it, I was constantly biting down on my teeth and I could hear them clicking. It became a crazy habit and I was obsessed with just like, like constantly hearing that sound and like feeling them click in my mouth. It was almost like soothing and satisfying to me. So if you experience that, just know that it's normal, it happens. But I think you should avoid like clenching down your teeth. I think that's a thing you shouldn't be doing. You also may feel like your teeth are going to fall out. So many times throughout this treatment, I've been like, oh my gosh, my teeth feel so loose. Like I think my tooth is gonna fall out. And I would have dreams, you guys. I'd have dreams about my teeth falling out 
with my braces and it was the scariest thing but just know that all that is normal like they're not going to fall out your teeth are secure so don't worry about it your bite is going to constantly change and what i mean is like the way that your mouth sits when your mouth is closed so like when i bite down like it feels different especially after you get an adjustment you are going to feel so uncomfortable in the sense of you don't know how to close your mouth properly because it really does change the way that your teeth sit upon each other especially when they're going through that process of closing gaps and moving around i had an adjustment just the other day so at the moment my bite yeah it feels uncomfortable it doesn't feel right also your face is probably going to change shape i have really noticed this within my face for the past couple months is that it's really um yeah i don't know how to describe it but it's really changed shape i feel like my jaw has become a little more defined which i don't i like i'm not mad at that that's okay with me but that's actually a reason why i didn't want to get braces when i was younger because i was like i don't want my face to change shape like i like the shape of my face but I, I don't know, it is, it's inevitable, it's gonna happen. Your face is gonna change shape because your teeth are shifting around, your jaw is shifting, everything's moving. So yeah, you might look a little bit different, but it's honestly so subtle that you won't even notice it. But because I know how my face looks and I'm able to look back on like footage of myself and photos of myself, I'm just like, wow, my face really has changed shape. Just know that your brackets are going to break and it's okay because they can fix that so easily. Don't freak out. I actually have only fortunately had one bracket break off at the very back of my mouth and it happened while I was eating rice. Typically brackets will break off when you're eating certain foods that kind of trigger them to snap off but rice like that's how you know it's inevitable. One thing you're always going to want and need to have on you is lip balm because Best believe your lips are gonna get dry and chapped. I've always been the type of person that can't go to sleep without wearing a lip balm But when you get braces like dry chapped lips They go up by 100 like you're always gonna have dry chapped lips So that's another tip for you guys is to always have lip balm on you Another thing that you need to mentally be prepared for are setbacks in the sense that you may think that you're getting your braces off at a certain time, but your orthodontist can come up to you and be like, hey, we're behind schedule, so that's gonna change. A couple of visits ago, I was told that I would have to have my braces on for longer than two years, maybe. But then on my last visit, my orthodontist was like, wow, things are actually really moving quickly, so you're back on schedule. Things are changing all the time. So like the saying goes, expect the best, but be prepared for the worst. Don't get too down if your orthodontist does tell you that things are a little behind schedule, because that can always change. Which in saying that, you also have to do the work too. Now your orthodontist can only do so much. It is your job to take care of everything in between visits. And I'm talking about what I said earlier, gum health, healthy oral hygiene, flossing, brushing, wearing your rubber bands, that kind of thing. You have to make sure that you're doing everything you possibly can to make this process of your treatment as easy as possible. Your orthodontist can only do so much. It is your job to make sure you're doing everything in between. So I don't know if I should be telling you guys this, but they do say that gum is off limits when you have your braces on, but for me, I didn't listen. For the first few months, yeah, I was like, oh, I can't have gum, but I just, I can't go without gum. Like I need to have fresh breath. Go with what your orthodontist tells you. But for me personally, I feel like, yeah, I can chew on gum because I'm very thorough with my cleaning process. So even if I was to get some gum stuck in between my teeth or brackets or whatever, because I floss my teeth so well and I know the way that I clean my teeth, I'm not too bothered by chewing gum. But um, yeah, they say not to chew gum, but I chew gum and that's just what I do. Also, the mirror is going to be your best friend friend and also asking like you're gonna constantly be asking people hey do i have something stuck in my teeth if there's no access to a mirror which i feel like i did that all the time if i was out having a meal with somebody after my meal before i was even done with my meal i'd be like hey do i have something stuck in my teeth that's pretty much been my catchphrase for the past year and a half also if you like to wear makeup i would recommend that you don't wear makeup to your appointments if you are going to wear makeup Avoid wearing any type of lip product because that stuff is going to smear all around. My orthodontist is so sweet and nice enough to always remind me, like if I have some on, she lets me wipe it off prior to because she doesn't want to mess up my makeup. She's so nice, honestly. But yes, whenever you get an adjustment, just make it easier for yourself and for your orthodontist. Don't wear any makeup or at least take off your lipstick because it is 
gonna get everywhere. One major thing that I wasn't expecting is just how big of a difference I saw in my teeth within the first few visits. Even the first month of having my braces on, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Like it was, it was insane to see the change. I'm the type of person that really likes to see the whole process of how things work. So to see that happening on myself, I was like, holy, this is amazing. I feel like in the first few months, my teeth straightened out like crazy. If you knew what my teeth were like before, I did have like a little snaggle teeth on the bottom right here. But I lost that within the first couple of visits and I was just like, damn, my teeth are straight. Pretty much for the rest of my treatment, all we've been working on are closing the gaps so yeah definitely expect to see a lot of changes within the first couple months because that's something i honestly did not think that my teeth could move that quickly it was insane last but not least i feel like this is something that's so obvious and i'm sure that everybody knows this but it's more so of a reminder so just know that braces they're super expensive you guys and i don't want you guys to take advantage of that or take it for granted especially if your parents are paying for it or if you live in a place where they are offered for free, I know that some places around the world actually give braces for free. I'm just like, damn, I wish I lived there because yeah, they're expensive. So yeah, if you're younger and your parents are paying for your braces, just don't take that for granted. Take care of them, take care of your teeth, make sure that you're doing everything that your orthodontist tells you to do in between your visits and you will have them off before you know it. So there we have it, you guys. That's pretty much everything I wanted to say for this video. If you have any questions for me, feel free to comment them down below. I am more than happy to answer any questions you have and talk to you guys just about braces in general. I get so many questions from people asking me all about mine and if you are interested to see any of my other updates or even watch my whole process of getting them on i'll leave like some video links down below if you want to check those out as always if you did enjoy this video or you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the little red subscribe button down below before you go so you can stay updated with all the videos that i post if you guys want to keep up with me on any of my other social media accounts like twitter instagram facebook or snapchat all that good stuff is down in the description box below and with that being said i hope you guys are having a fabulous week and i will see you all in my next video